This is episode 8, why online holiday shopping will be huge in 2020 and what you can do to capitalize on it. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. So 2020 has been a crazy year and there's been so much going on in terms of online engagement, online browsing from from people and e-commerce stores have been hugely affected. Uh, some in a good way. Um, there's been huge, dr- a huge jump in traffic and sales. Um, just two of my SEO clients actually have seen record online sales this year. Um, and it makes sense because obviously a lot of people cannot um, physically go to stores. So instead of physically going to the store, they would just go online and make their purchases. Um, I was reading a uh, a report from Bright Edge. Uh, They are an e-commerce SEO platform, and they recently published some interesting data. Um, They noticed that there's been a huge shift in the way that people are making purchases, and that's all through a huge shift towards online. And it's definitely been been significant increase in 2020 versus 2019. And one thing that I thought was pretty interesting was that um, people made more purchases online, but the types of things they purchased were more of those daily goods, such as, you know, toiletries and home items. So more lower ticket items, not necessarily the higher ticket luxury items. So there's a lot more sales, but the average cart, uh, average uh, cart uh, value per cart is pretty consistent. Um, there's no like huge spikes in terms of luxury goods, and they also mention that about sixty percent of consumers have been shopping online more often, and seventy three according to the article, said they plan to continue after the pandemic. So, you know, that's really important because 73% of people who are already shopping during this pandemic are continue to, uh, you know, follow that same, same, um, uh, those actions, those online patterns, um, you know, after. So that's, important in in a multiple number of ways. That means um, we need to really understand as uh, marketers, as business owners, the overall user journey and how people shop online and what people are looking for and how they use our websites to browse and make purchasing decisions. So um, it's more important than ever to focus on SEO and conversion rate optimization, and content, and even online advertising to um, reach the people who would have come to our stores physically but can't go to our stores anymore, or who are more open about online shopping than they were before. So, you know, this traditional customer journey is completely different than, than than many years before. So, um, it's really important to you know understand the cus- the consumer behavior and um, really make sure we are improving the user experiences on our site. So a good line, good online experience is important, and optimizing websites for search is more important now than you know ever before, as more people are are online. So. Um, and you know, I think this report definitely makes sense. Um, a lot of people 
you know, are more open about online shopping. And um, in many cases, you know, they have to shop online. And they might be spending a little less than before. So the average cart value uh, might not be as high as what you might expect. But there are a couple of ways around that, right? So I do want to give you some three quick tips on what you can do to quickly impl implement on your site um, during this holiday season. So the first one is um, leveraging an order bump. So just as I mentioned, a lot of people are making purchases, but they might not want to spend that much money. So what we could do is offer an order bump. And that is basically some additional items that they can uh, click to purchase after they made that initial purchase. So this really focuses on honing in on the user cart experience, the, the checkout experience, and seeing if there is a way where you can either recommend uh, additional items that relate to that order or um, implement a way where they can quickly add additional things um, to their cart that they can purchase right there and then. Um, that's one way that you can easily increase the average uh, order cart value and see if you can, you know, encourage them to, to make larger purchases. Uh, the next tip is to um, capitalize on the search terms like deal, promos, Black Friday, and Cyber Monday um, for your branded terms. So what does that mean? Um, add those, those uh, keyword modifiers to your brand name. So if you are, you know, Best Buy, for example, you could say um, you could create like a new page or update an existing page with uh, the keywords, you know, Black Friday deals, Black Friday promos. I mean, uh, Best Buy deals, Best Buy promos, Best Buy Black Friday, Best Buy Cyber Monday, and just attach those holiday terms onto your your, your branded terms. So create a new page focusing on those terms and uh, add your specials on that page. Or you can update an existing page that you already have as an evergreen and make sure those particular keywords are on there as well. So that's an easy way for you to show up in Google if they were to look for, actively look for promotions for your company online. Um, you want that particular page to show up and that's an easy way for you to do that. Last quick tip is to leverage email marketing. Um, and you want to email uh, your current customers and promote that new page, that holiday page. So uh, take them to that holiday page where they can browse and you know make their purchases um, and definitely heavily rely on email to to promote your offers and make people excited you know um, if you do have a holiday page um, create a countdown so maybe three to five days in advance you can create a campaign where you can do like a quick like a hat like a a pretty cool countdown where you can say you know five days from now um, you know we're gonna be releasing this page and you can also um, promote that through social media um, and also through other platforms as well, including your homepage, um, promote that as well, just to create some of that buzz around this, this holiday page that you have. And um, yeah, I think that would be a really quick way, you know, um, I think creating or updating an existing page to be your evergreen holiday page is a very quick way to uh, capitalize on this 2020 holiday season if you haven't done so yet. So um, hopefully you thought this was helpful. And with that said, I will see you on the next episode.